Greetings and welcome back. The uh, well, yeah, the Warmonger Mark 10 is currently still flying. I've taken some of the emphasis from the Scorpinox, and it has grabby claws. They are obviously just designed to absorb impact, but they exist. We are slowly expanding the armor and the push. We have a few more crew. The tail has expanded a bit more, as you can see. It's now two large thrusters and a sensor array. So that's what I'm currently trying, a sensor array. And there's also, like, got lots more people living here now. Probably too many, but I'm still testing out how many I actually do need. You need at least four many this and two many here. So we need at least six on the stuff. And obviously that, then we need more things. So we're trying out that. I'm also testing combat effectiveness on the locals. Now, right now, obviously, crew is still a bit of an issue. It always will be. But here we are. Trying to do my best. Now, I'm still debating, honestly, killing the locals. I don't know if I care too much about the fringe. I might say hello to the fringe. But I want their money. So let's test on this guy. This guy here. Thank you for the test. Let's see how well we do. So we've slowed down, of course, because we've added more armour. But, let's have a look. We also have the Ranger, of course, because I have the, the satellite, what's it called, the sensor array at the back. So that's all good, too. Get the missiles come round, straight to the rear, gone. Perfect. And now I pick up the pieces. Still a bit of damage, that's what the armor is there for. I don't care about steel plates. Steel plates do as steel plates do. So, yeah, testing appears to be interesting. Oh, we have impact. This will be interesting. Missiles already firing. Locals already engaged. We're already turning. A little bit of damage on the armor. Like we're meant to, which saves our impact, and everything else is dead. Thank you, local stiletto. So, we obviously still have a few weak points. I am still working on the whole... Edge piece, I'm not entirely sure I like this being connected, but I've moved everything up as you can see. And I'm thinking of moving more stuff down, so I like the tail idea. I could just fill this entire thing with one idea, but I want to build something uniquely me. And also in keeping with my design philosophy. And it's actually harder than I thought it would be, which is not a surprise, go figure. Speaking of design philosophy, was it multiple contacts here? Alright, I want to, uh, but they're killing each other, great. No, they're not. I want to build a certain style of ship. I'm not entirely sure what that style is going to be. So obviously some people think it's a jellyfish. I don't know what I'm really building. Like obviously the previous design with Coco is a scorpion. That's the scorpionoc run. I don't really know what I'm building. But, you know, it's alright. Grab that. Repair the armour. Uh, a little bit of damage there. So this is a bit of an issue. I'd like for these to be a little bit more sequestered. But obviously the further back they are the more damage they take. So I do need better PD. That's an issue. Maybe I'll go back and get the fighters. I don't quite know. But it is a future decision. What is this? Small cannon base. All right. Good. Okay, what's it defending? Oh, it's defending a little storage pod. Show me the storage pod. Uh, uranium crystals? Diamonds. Uranium and diamonds. I'll take it. Perfect. So, yeah, there's obviously a few other things. A couple of custom markers for stuff I've destroyed. Dead station, I think that's also a station. It is what it is. But I'd like to very much start a war. But I'd like to do a test because I don't know how tough it's going to be. I think we're currently at... 1, 2, 3, 4, tier 5. So we're fighting tier 6 enemy ships. So that's going to be fun. going to be very fun. Why did you just leave? Why did you just jump out? So let's go do that near a hyper relay. Like if you were to ask me if this is a good idea, I'd definitely say probably not. Because it's going to get super difficult. And obviously you have to kill the right targets too. Because most of these targets, who cares? But what's going to be the big issue is obviously when the locals come. The big anti-me ships. Alright, that's now dead. Okay. Good. Okay. You still not you still dead? Good. We have multiple contacts. Which ones are attacking me? That one's attacking me. Turn to kill, turn to kill. Missiles are reloaded. What we got, what we got? Reckless Warrior Tier 6. 
Kill it and crush it. Reckless warriors are quite tough, I've been finding. They have just enough equipment and resources, they're actually a big issue. So a second one of those coming in, or even a third one of those coming in, is going to be a problem. Yep, there's a second one. Okay, one dead. Turn for that one. There goes the rear, almost. Okay, hunchback. What is a hunchback? Hunchback's a railgun. We can take a railgun, kind of. Okay, you need to die again. Okay, turn and go around the side. Using a piece of the armour, that's fine. Using more of the armour. Did they just take out the edge piece? The railgun just took out the rear. Of course it did. You know, 50-50. Okay, the railgun's behind me. That's a bigger issue. Just crush it, crush it, crush it. That's the frontal armor doing. We've lost one of the main guns, that's fine. No one's rearming the shields again, the big issue. Switch targets. Rear, rear is gone. Oh! Nearly lost a full tail. Okay, good. The fire's about to kill that, so quickly kill this quickly. Please, quickly. So testing says tier 6 is still an issue in groups, which is an issue in groups. Yeah, it's still a problem. It's still a big problem, and I've made my tails on fire. Come on. Oh my god, am I literally not killing this? I have three big lasers firing. Kill something. Oh my god, they're all firing and we're not going through a shield. That's a design style. Alright, fine. So yeah, testing has proven we need more work. I've just lost the entire rear of my ship. That's fine. That's what testing is for. What does it mean? Well, that means I'm a little bit screwed, honestly. Also lost a fair bit of crew. Okay, grab all of that. Lost a lot of crew, lost a lot of resources, that's fine. I sold a lot of resources, but again, that's fine. Oh dear. Major problems, but whatever. We can work on it, so yeah. Uh, looks like I probably need better walkways for the shield crew. Probably better support for the shield crew as well. But that's, again, fine. Uh Testing, testing, testing. Okay. So combat testing is pissing off the locals currently. They are not impressed with me. They were up until about 10 minutes ago. But you know, 50-50. External armour pieces actually worked quite well. I took a few hits to the rear I should have died from. Because obviously they were going through multiple different layers which slowed down impacts. So this needs to be done. Just needs to be done better. So we'll work on that. The rear area, as always, will be the weakest area of my ship. So maybe I should like, get better armoring down here. It is designed, of course, to take more shots and to be behind me. But of course, if I'm fighting multiple targets as in a bounty, being behind me is not that great. So maybe I have to look at smaller secondary ships, which is going to cut into my crew capabilities. I have decisions to make. And I think I have an idea of what I want to do. It's just going to take time. But you know... I think I've got it. How much crew did I lose? About 22. Oh, cool. But, you know, small things. Small things, small losses. And the bright side for the testing, there is another pirate station I've apparently completely and totally missed. There's a fringe system resistance hunter. It's like a low tier. I kind of want a tier 6 mission for that. But let's test out on the pirate station. Oh, my God. The amount of losses I've took. I've, you know, I've still got some money. Cost a lot more than I was expecting, but still got some money. Why am remove the missiles? In fact, buy some more resources for that. There's a lot of dead pieces of ship just here. Take all of that. There we go. We'll use that to build up and do better. But yeah, I don't quite know how to do the design. So I'm gonna quickly do that now. Then we're gonna hit a pirate station. 
Brace yourselves for even a montage. There's not going to be a montage, I'm lying to you. Or suddenly, a complete and total ship change. Apparently, this is a big one, I'm completely and utterly out of uh, metal. So I can't actually show you my new ship design even if I tried. But I'm going to try. And it's looking something like this. As you can see, it needs slightly more crew. But yeah, it's a bit of a change. Mostly it's just armour. There's some beams on the side, it's going to be a dual beam system. A lot more engines, so it's faster. I'm actually going to be working on probably more defences and lasers and compartmentalised troops along the line. I'm working on making it better. Right now it's not better, it's simply larger. As you can see, it's definitely getting... I forgot to fix this armour. Definitely getting there. And that's uh, where I want it to be. The jellyfish, whatever the hell this thing is going to be, is growing. The missile area might be along this area here. I'm thinking it's like five missiles down and out. But right now we need to kill this station because I need the rep. So let's go kill a station. What's this, Warmonger Mark 13? Probably 20 at this rate. So this should be an easy-ish kill because the enemy seems to be like tier 6. And it's yet another cannon base, so it's an easy kill. Yes, yeah, that's already gone. Should have hit it with missiles, but whatever. It's another easy kill. A little bit damaged on the armor, as always, but again, I don't really care. Station by priority, it's not an issue. We have a huge amount of enriched uranium. So maybe it's time to stop working more on my reactor cores. Because they are not the best placed right now, sadly. Or gladly, depending on point of view. It's supposed to stop here dead. There's only one of the ship. Okay. Uh, pull back. Switch targets. Then destroy a little bit of my armour. That's fine. That's what it's designed for. Target down. Good. Salvage it. Okay, push back in. To that range. There we go. Push back to that range. Shoot it in down the court. And... Station is mine. Okay, good. So yeah, more reputation, more everything. And just now we just need to work on the final design. I still don't know if it's a good idea to extend that big. I was going to make me a bigger, bigger target. But we're going to give it a Timmy time try. And hopefully it'll go well. But uh, things never usually go well for me. So we're going to find out, I guess. I'll be honest, this is going to be a massive, massive mistake. But I'm going to try to build my new ship. It's not going to be the best because let's face it, this should not be built this big this soon. But you people watching this probably expect me to do extremely dumb things. So this is my current ship design. It's now four missiles. As you can see, it's now a sealed off area here. This will be where the crew live. Obviously there'll be storage for resources for high explosive missile factory. So I'd like to have a small storage pushed in, I think, for iron and so on. In fact, we'll do that now. But I think what we've got going on here is great. Not good, you know, but great. Like, like when they say it, when they, like, they don't really believe it. It's great, it's great, you know, it's cool, cool. Well done. Which, you know, 50-50. 50-50 indeed. So, we need more money. We need a lot more money. We have, what, 6, 12, 8, 24, 26 crew here. This will, of course, require two, four, six. That requires 16 people manning it and eight people arming it. So it's not going to be enough by a long shot, but we're going to have two, 10 people spare. So it'll be like, you know, we'll see how it goes. Still working on that. Uh, more frontal weapons, yeah. Need more lasers, of course. I think we don't really need this edge area right now, but it is what it is. So I could just, you know, condense this for now. I probably will. In fact, yeah, just condense this to here. That saves a bit more money. Then we condense this area here to here. So we're just condensing a few things. Just a few things. Just make it look nicer. There we go. So now it's suddenly workable. Doesn't look the best because of course I'm still working on it, but we now have a better ship-ish. Better-ish ship. 
But we have, what, 12? We have 14 people living here on the edges. That should be enough for that. So I seal this area off here. Then they have to man this area. Okay, so this, these people live in the edges. These people live in the edges. Let's make it so. Oh my god, this doesn't look as good anymore. That's what you get for a temporary build, I guess. Oof, this entire frontal area needs to be moved. Okay. Let's move that forwards, I guess. Okay, so what I need to do now, of course, is make a lot of money. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of killing every single target in the area. Because I need to get some more money, I need to get some more crew, so give me a brief second to get the people where they need to be. Not where they should be, but where I need them to be. So give me more of a second. You know, there's one thing I've just noticed, just now, as we're fighting. Which is quite important, because I'm fighting. In fact, pull this back. If you look at the missiles, probably people are yelling at me, I've done it wrong. Where they're meant to be is there. Where they actually were, was not there. That's a bit of an oversight, isn't it? Bit of an oversight indeed. Um, uh, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Uh, cool. Great, okay. That's a bit better. Now the missiles can actually fire out the ship. Still not got the crew to do it, but they can actually, you know, fire out the ship. More money's being taken in. I think we have to, have to go to the next sector, because we're going to need more resources. But as you can see, we are still doing okay. Shields are still an issue, because we just don't have the crew manning them. I know we can make it better by, you know, making things uh, more productive, but we just don't literally have the crew. So that's still an issue. Not the biggest of issues, but it is still an issue. Looking like, you know, shields are cheap, but it is still a problem. So more crew is needed. We still have the people where they need to be. This area here is not fully stacked and stocked, so the sides are still a problem. The missiles are still a problem. The rear is still a problem. So yeah, we definitely need a lot more crew. It's, it is what it is, which is an issue. A big issue, but an issue nonetheless. Maybe we should get some more of these unknown signals, get some more money, sod it. I still have genuinely no idea how to build a good working, walking ship, I'll be honest. I'm messing around with it. <coughs> oh, I'm not feeling too good. And I just don't know. Like, full on do not know. I mean, like, messing around with this, I've changed this around so people can go in. The missile launchers are all loaded. I've even put another level of this on. I'm going to do a quick test now, just to make sure it works. So if I do this and fire these missiles, do they go through? Da -da 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 -da. Fire ones, they do. Okay, good. So I set up a series of these, the missiles should go through, unless we're moving or they're targeting something. So, you know, 50-50. The missiles should be able to go through multiple layers of trailing legs. It's genuinely hard to tell, hard to see. But yeah, I'm going to clear everything else out, I believe, and then we're going to move on to the 5 to 7. The Beta Eritares is our next target. Because I require those juicy, juicy, juicy points. We have a lot more crew I need to buy. I kind of wanted to start a war. And the war's not going to plan, as it were. I'm also debating having ships on the end of these suckers. So I can just deploy little fighters. Sod it. Little fighter deployment might be great. What is actually here? Why have I marked this? Oh. It's remains of a asteroid I was mining. Oh. A lot of extra resources. Good, 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 good. How do I get rid of you? How do I get rid of you? No idea. You just there forever now? I'll check that out later, but yeah. The ship is going to keep on growing. I kind of like the idea if I'm going with it. I love the extra armor and so on. As you can see, the back end's changed a bit again. I want to get this armor to look good. I personally do not think it looks good. You guys apparently seem to think it does. I bought like the arms with a scorpionock. I'm working on more dangles. This area here might all become missiles too. But yeah, we have good alpha strike capability. Staying power is still an issue as you've seen. And some of our shields do occasionally pulse purple. Which shows, you know, energy's going down. Right now the external side piece is probably more shielded than the center. That's fine for now. Next stage, of course, is getting the lasers up and running. It's a mishmash hodgepodge of rubbish, but I actually do believe it could do pretty darn well. 
Field testing, as you saw, did great. It just needs more crew. Say so field testing did great, and the back end exploded. Which, you know, it's good enough, good enough. How, how much rep to actually affect with us? Not even that bad. These guys still quite like us. I can push it a bit. Wait, is it three consular? Oh my god, I guess there's seven. I guess because we're Grand Admiral. They do not like the locals. Because it should be one at Friendler. Didn't even think of that.